Hi. In certain cases, you want to take over uh, more functionality from the paragraph in regards to using a text area. Like for instance, in your paragraph, you can set that the indentation, and I will show you here, the indentation is on the first line has to be uh, indented by a couple of inches or a couple of centimeters. So that will only mean that the first line is indented, but not all the other lines. So what if your text area has multiple enters and you just want to have that indentation every time there is an enter uh, in your text area. Other examples can be that you want to have a bullet point list here. So and then you, of course, for every enter in the text area, you just want to replicate the bullet point list. So let's go through both examples. Originally, this was set like this. So I'm going to first do the example like this, uh, that there is no uh, specific settings on any of the uh, of the paragraphs. Let's go watch an example. In this example, there is nothing set, uh, nothing specific set. And if I generate the PDF, you will see that it just takes the text area that I have here and just prints that uh, in, like you would see on the record. On the record, this is my text area information. There is an enter here after uh, this uh, labrum. Uh, to make sure this uh, joins up in the next uh, in the next uh, yeah, paragraph or the next uh, line. Okay, now with this new feature, we can uh, say that in, uh, what we want to use for every character returns so for every new line inside the para inside the text area, we want to actually uh, take over all of the configuration of the existing paragraph and use that into the next paragraph. So let's do a test. I'm gonna uh, switch this checkbox on. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my document. I'm gonna say, well, I want here a first line on, well, let's say this is fine. And you will see that the indentation will come now. Okay, save my document. Gonna upload my document as you would expect. And save it again. Okay, now let's do a new test. And in this test, when I would test it, you would see that the uh, indentation here is nicely taken. Yeah? And for the second, uh, uh, for a second enter, for the second line in the uh, text area, it's also nicely taken. So we take over the configuration of that paragraph. If you wouldn't have checked this, let's quickly change it. Then you would see that only for the first uh, for the first paragraph it would have taken that one. Um, let's see, did I actually save it? As you can see here, it does not do that indentation. Why not? Because when we uh, we do an in paragraph enter normally. And this setting will actually make sure that it's not an in paragraphs uh, enter, but it's actually an enter, uh, a new paragraph for every enter, every uh, new line in the text area. Okay, let's do another example. Uh, let's say that we have a bullet point list here. Uh, we don't need the indentation anymore now. Okay. So, I save this, I will upload this again. Save. Okay, let's take a look at this example. Um, did I, let's quickly check. Did I make a change here? Yeah, this is still uh, set there. Okay, that's fine. Now let's do a test. And now I would expect a, bull, uh, a bullet point list for every carriage return inside my, uh, my text area. And indeed, it does exactly that. So with this new setting, uh, every carriage return will be a new paragraph instead of an uh, in-paragraph break that we normally do for a text area.